Hi, Carolyn. How are you? I'm okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So as Nikki said, I'm Kami, and I've been writing for my blog, themamadiaries.com, for a little bit over 10 years now. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there I share um, mostly entertainment content. I do movie reviews, television show reviews, some celebrity interviews, and then I'm also a mom. I have an eight-year-old and a 12-year-old son. Oh, I know. <laughs> so I share some parenting related content there as well. So yeah, um, I um, watched the episode today. And it was really fun. Um, I would love to know how did you come into this role as Lola? <sighs> Through an audition process that I, I, I had no clue in the, ha, no <laughs> clue in the beginning. <laughs> my, my agent just texted me and said, you have an audition. It's for a children's show. Be nice. Uh, there's a song. It's okay. Do what you can with the song because I never heard of the song before. Um, and it happened right after uh, a matinee theater show I was doing. She texted me. She says, right after the show, you have the audition. Go. Here are the lines and the lyrics to the song. Make up a melody. I go to the audition room, I do the lines, I make up a melody, and then I get a call back. And, and it was a chemistry audition with Josh. Okay. So we're in the studio, all the big green screen and back. And we did um, a little bit of the um, uh, of the actual Babinka show a couple of lines from there to see if we clicked and we clicked I mean Josh he's huggable he's clickable he's he's so nice I mean walking into an audition is always a nervous thing it's always a nervous affair Josh just welcomed me as if I was already his Lola that's so nice what is it like working with him because as you said he just seems so sweet yeah, what you see mm -hmm. on screen is him. It's really him. Um, all the little quirks, that's who he is. Um, he, he's just so real and relatable. <laughs> that's so nice. So Blue's Clues is huge. It's been around forever. Mm -hmm. um, so what, is it, what does it mean to you be, to be part of this? The, the Blue Clue, Blues Clues family. It means a lot because um, I have a sister who's a lot younger than me. Okay. And when Steve was still doing, she was, she's a Steve baby. She would watch Blues Clues and I'd babysit her and, and you know, yeah. it, it was a neat concept, Steve talking to the camera, to the children. And I thought, okay, and life goes on. and here I am. I'm a grandma to Steve's cousin, Josh. It's, it's huge. And the representation of, of the culture is huge. It's, it's such an important show, I feel, for, the, for children. Absolutely. I love the representation um, in, the, in the show, but what it represents and everything. I love that kids are able to see that. And, you know, with the educational factor, you know, they're learning about other cultures and everything. Yes. This is amazing. It's so great. Yes. Um, what are you hoping for the audience to take away from your character? Um, that your, that grandma Lola mm -hmm. is an active person. She loves you. She loves the ch the children. She loves blue. She loves, she is love. And if ever something happens, there's always grandma you can run to. And I, I, I think that Lola's just such a huggable character. And, and that's the actor talking. <laughs> I think they created a wonderful character for, for the kids to, to think of how their relationship is with their grand, grandma and mm -hmm. grandpa. Yeah. The grand, grandmas are like super, they have that, that like safe place for kids. My mom actually yes. lives with us. So my boys love that. My, my younger son, he, my older son calls her Grammy, but for my younger son, he decided to call her Goosey. 
Goosey. So, goosey. So, that's a new one for sure, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, it's hysterical, but she loves it because it's, you know, it's just their special thing. So yeah, grandma, yeah. that's so great. So um, you mentioned the babinka that you got, that Josh cooked for you. Yes. Do you, so do you like to cook or bake your, yourself personally? And do you have a favorite dish that you like to make? I, I'm not a good baker. I'll admit okay. to that. There are many people in my entourage that are great bakers and, and I love visiting them for it. Um, <laughs> I do love to cook. There's a Filipino dish called adobo. Okay. It's basically pork or chicken mm -hmm. marinated in soy sauce. Mm. Sounds very good. <laughs> and then after the, it's marinated, it's fried, and then more soy sauce is poured over and vinegar and pepper and bay leaves, and it becomes a stew. The meat wow. just falls off the bone, and each household adds a little something to the basic recipe. So although it's the same thing, mm -hmm. each household has a special taste, That's and it's really nice, really nice. So if you're ever in Rhode Island, you can get in contact with me and we can have And I'll make some for you. Sounds yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. <Deal. laughs> so um, I was looking at your bio and it's so impressive. Oh my gosh, you are like a woman of so many talents. I mean, you're a choreographer, singer, songwriter, actress, entrepreneur. My goodness, it's, I loved it. Um, you also, I saw you had your own nonprofit organization, yes. your, your production company. Can you tell yes. us a little bit about that? Um, it was a theater company okay. where whatever we would produce, a portion of the profits would go to a specific charitable organization, um, depending on the theme of the play. Uh, it was very important for me to give back to, to the community in one form or another. So we gave back to, oh, so many organizations. Um, either in, in money or in marketing efforts or one organization needed um, office equipment like computers, desks. I was able to find a company who was, um, who was moving and I approached them and I said, look, we're doing a play and it's about people in need um, and they need to set up an, uh, an office and they have nothing. So the company just said, well, take all the desks and chairs you want. And by the way, we have a computer system. Would you like that too? And we will give, lend you a computer technician to set it, set it all up. And there you go. That's wonderful. Yeah. Nice. So my last question is going to be, what is, what does your future look like with Blue's Clues? Um, I can't say much, <clears throat> but I the know. future is bright. Under, under, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you can share with us. <laughs> yeah. The future is bright. Okay. Uh, Lola will be back. Um, I'm, you know, I'm going back into the studio to record some more. Um, so keep watching. Yeah. Thank you so much. And it was Thank lovely you. to meet you. Nice to meet you, Kami. Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs>